Hello everyone, I'm Zhi from Stony Brook University. I will introduce our work, Select or Suggest, Reinforcement Learning Based Method for High Accuracy Target Selection on Touch Screens. Target selection on small touch screens is error prone because of the small target size and imprecise touch input. To solve the problem, a suggestion based method can be an option. That is, when ambiguity presents in the touch input, show suggestions for confirmation. To achieve that, we need to decide when to directly select a target and when to trigger suggestions. For triggering suggestions, we also need to decide which candidates to suggest. In this paper, we propose SETS, a suggestion-based accurate target selection method. We assume that the user will repeat the selection until the intended target is selected. Then the problem can be formulated as a stochastic sequential decision problem. We use reinforcement learning to solve it. Based on the uncertainty of the touch input, SETS automatically decides to directly select a target candidate or show suggestions. Here we show a short video on how SETS works in real scenario. If the touch input has low ambiguity, as the red cross shown in the video, SETS will directly select the target candidate. However, if the touch input is ambiguous, SETS will show suggestions and the user can make another selection from the suggestions. Here are more trials of target selection by sets. Next, I'll introduce the reinforcement learning setup for sets. Firstly, the computer plays as an agent which interacts with the environment and decides to directly select a target or show suggestions when given a touch point made by the user. At every time step, the environment has a state, including the layout and the touch point made by the user. And the agent can fully observe the state from the environment. After that, the agent computes the posterior probability for each target candidate using BS theorem, given the touch point. The likelihood is computed based on a dual Gaussian model, and we assume the prior follows the Zipf's law and use a frequency model to estimate its value. Then we use a DeepQ network to map the top four posteriors to actions. To construct the action space in this paper, we only consider the top four target candidates because one touch point is adjacent to at most four target candidates. We consider all subsets of the four target candidates to construct actions. Therefore, there are 15 actions in total. And the 15 actions can be categorized into four tabs, direct select or target candidate, suggest two, three, or four target candidates. After taking an action, the agent receives a reward immediately. The reward is defined as the negative value of the estimated time cost of each action, which consists of three parts. Select a target from a layout, select from suggestions if they are shown, and select a cancel button if an incorrect target is selected. Those time costs were estimated based on empirical models from existing papers. We summarize the reward for each type of actions, resulting in correct selection and incorrect selection in the table. As there might be more than one selection attempts made to successfully select a target, SETS maximizes the total expected reward of the whole selection process until a successful selection. We also consider an alternative solver, maximizing utility for current selection noted as MUCS, that considers only the current selection attempt. The MUCS method computes the expected reward or expected utility based on the given equation on the right, where PA is the sum of the posterior probabilities of the suggested targets. We train the policy network of sets based on simulated interactions 
where the touch point was generated by the dual Gaussian model, and the prior probability was generated by Zipf's law. After that, we implement a target selection environment on an Android watch, and we were able to load the policy network via PyTorch Mobile. In the implementation, we consider two different target sizes. The three figures show the target selection page, the suggestions, and the selection result page. For the last one, the user needs to click the reselect button to cancel an incorrect selection. Otherwise, click the OK button to start selecting the next target. Then we conducted three user studies to evaluate the performance of sets. We firstly conduct a user study to compare sets with suggestion-based method MUCS and heuristic. The heuristic method makes a decision to select a target candidate or show suggestions of the top four targets based on the highest posterior. The two figures show the mean error rate and mean selection time of the three methods in this user study. As Seth considers the whole selection process, we can see that it has the lowest error rate and shortest selection time among the three methods. In the second user study, we compare sets with two direct touch-based methods. The Bayesian command method selects the target candidate with the highest posterior. The visual boundary method is a direct select method using the boundary of the target. The results show that both sets and Bayesian command outperform the visual boundary method. Compare with Bayesian command, sets reduces the error rate from 3.64% to 0.89%, only with a slightly increase in selection time, which is 200 milliseconds. Lastly, we compare sets with the magnifier-based method shift. In shift, a callout window showing the magnified view underneath the finger can be triggered when the user touches the screen. Before lifting the finger up, the user can move the finger to adjust the touch point position. From the results, we can see that sets outperforms shift in error rate and selection time. To conclude, in this paper, we propose a reinforcement learning based accurate target selection method sets. It can automatically decide to directly select a target candidate or show suggestions depending on the uncertainty of the touch input. Our user study shows that sets outperforms five baselines in selection accuracy and four baselines in selection speed. Thanks for listening.